you know, I'm not understanding how the so-called black Americans can be so anti-Trump to the point where they want to destroy this man's life. Think about what's going on. This is no more than a white supremacy smokescreen using black politicians and the black voters of the Democrat Party. Now, the real damage is being done by black Americans, but yet Trump is the scapegoat. Trump is actually going through what many so-called black American men has gone through and that's going through now. Just this past month, I've heard of two dudes. One is locally. Black dude that spent over 30 years in prison for a crime that he did not commit. And the article says that all along, he maintained the fact that he didn't do it. Now, we see movies where you have someone that was um, that was accused of doing a crime, and when they go to prison, they're saying, I didn't do it, and then you have the inmates that would make fun of that and would ask each other, did you do your crime? And every one of them would say no because they're so used to hearing criminals Say I didn't do it to keep from going to prison. But this dude spent over 30 years in prison for murder. And they had DNA evidence. The rape kit was done years ago. But yet he still remained in prison and now over 30 years later, he's released. I believe he's like 54, 55 years old. So he spent most of his adult life incarcerated. And now in 2023, they're now saying that he's innocent. Now, more than likely, he might sue. Right now, I'm sure he's just happy being out and life has changed tremendously since he's been there. So he might sue and they might give him a couple of million dollars, but that's not going to replace the life, the time that he lost behind prison walls for something he did not do. Black Americans are always talking about white supremacy and how the justice system is not justice. And now that we have black politicians in position, they're doing nothing for the so-called black American people, but yet they are attack dogs for the Democratic Party. So far, the mayor or the DA in New York City is a black man and he's bringing charges against Trump to keep him from running for president. And now you have this black female in Georgia that's bringing RICO charges against Trump, Giuliani, and other people that were in support of Trump. This is all political, but yet they're doing nothing for the so-called black American. There are black American people that are on public assistance and paying over $1,200 a month for rent. Gas prices are off the chain. People can barely live and eat because of inflation. There's homeless people those of you that, that have been to New York, do you see New York City? Do you see California? What about Chicago? There are people that are living 
on the street and can't afford to live. And now you have family members that's moving back at home just to be able to try to survive. But yet, black Americans are not concerned about that. Yes, they may gripe and complain, but they're more concerned about Trump because I see them reading these charges. And they're like celebrating and excited. It's like they get overly excited for a man that's no longer president. So they keep your mind on Trump, but yet while Biden is sending all of our tax dollars to the Ukraine and the billions of dollars that's spent just in New York City alone for illegal immigrants, but yet we're constantly running over potholes in the road, destroying our vehicles. People can't live or eat, barely surviving. Criminals are being released from prison. But yet people that have done no wrong, political enemies or opponents are being targeted and think of all the money, the taxpayer dollars that are being spent just to try to keep Trump from running. But what did he do? The only thing that the so-called black Democrats know is what the fake news media is telling them. So this is another level of destruction. People are celebrating the destruction of their own souls of their own home. This is where you live. Yes, you can talk about Africa and you can talk about the ills of America, but yet who's creating these problems? The same ones that you keep voting back into office. Biting the Democrats care nothing about you and they're using people with melanin in their skin to destroy you, but yet their focus is in other countries. That's not even a part of the UN. And from what I read, the Ukrainian president now is speaking out against the United States. While Biden is talking about sending over 50 billion more to Ukraine to fight a war that has nothing to do with the United States of America while the people right here in this nation is suffering. So you see where it says Georgia's, char Georgia's charges against Trump. Conspiracy to commit false statements and writings. So that means his First Amendment speech is a crime. Conspiracy to commit filing false documents. Filing false documents. False statements and writings. Think about this and he's being charged with RICO. And I, and I heard a news article that was saying that the, the Georgia prosecutor or this woman is doing this. She uses the RICO because you can actually stack on charges. Think of the number of black American men that have been charged under RICO for things that their white counterparts would get a misdemeanor or just a simple warning. But yet black Americans are in support of that happening to Trump but yet cry white supremacy while exercising white supremacy with a black face against Trump, against conservatives, and against Republicans. So I find this to be quite interesting. 
This is what I refer to as white supremacy, black. White supremacy, black, with a black face. These are not white people that's doing this. They're in the background. And you see a melanated face that's doing the work of white supremacy. So black is the new white supremacy. Destroying this nation. It's not Chuck Schumer. It's not Nancy Pelosi. It's not Biden because Biden is doing what he do. And it's, and it's interesting to me that Biden can stand up and lie right in your face. You're living what's really going on. But yet Biden is telling you that inflation is down. Well, when you go to the gas pump or when you go to the supermarket, is inflation down or is it up? But if you're collecting social services or welfare, of course you're not going to notice that because it's not coming out of your pockets. It's coming out of the pockets of the taxpayers. So you're getting the free ride. So you really can't see or understand what the working class have to deal with. They're the ones that's struggling to keep you afloat. But those same taxpayers that's keeping you afloat, those are the ones that you attack because you are the Democrats attack dog. So the real damage is done by blacks, the black politicians, the black Democrat voters that keep putting a Democrat in office. Or you will support a Republican that's a rhino, that hold Democratic views when democracy has done nothing for the black American. Look at what democracy has done to the continent of Africa. A lot of y'all talk about how you support Africa, but yet you support the system that destroyed Africa that's keeping Africa divided. Did you not know that those, those gas lines or pipes that they wanted to install in Africa and was told, no, they can't do that. America sent so many billions of dollars to Africa on a plane to bribe them. And allegedly Nigeria turned it down. See, so divide and conquer, America is dividing and conquering the same old games that were played to destroy black Americans and to keep whites and blacks apart, they're doing the same thing in the continent of Africa. Keeping them divided with Niger or Niger because they want the natural resources. They want to keep them colonized. But Niger and the continent is trying to be free. But yet this is what black Americans voted for. So it's like you are two-faced. There's a scripture in the Bible that says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you're double-minded. One moment you're speaking against white supremacy, which is no more than a smokescreen. But at the same time, you support white supremacy by favoring Trump being brought up on charges. 
taking your mind off of what Biden is doing, your mind is focused on Trump. And see, that's why I really don't care too much for D.L. Hughley. Because D.L. Hughley, whenever he's being interviewed, it's impossible or almost impossible for him to be interviewed without him mentioning Trump. Regardless of what the topic is, he's going to mention Trump because he, like so many other so-called black Americans and Democrats, have Trump derangement syndrome. They have Trump derangement syndrome. So now this man is being brought up on RICO charge. They want to keep him in court, tied up. They're tying up the courts. Forget about whatever problems that we're having here in this country. Their main agenda and focus is three things. Destroying Trump and those that support Trump. Turning our children into the trans life. Destroying this nation and supporting illegal immigrants. Opening the borders. You would not believe the number of illegal immigrants that's filling these jobs that a lot of Americans either don't want or that's not even aware of. The Biden administration had given them work status only social security cards so that it would be their pathway, although they committed a crime by crossing the borders illegally, giving them a pathway to citizenship to replace the black voters black Americans you are being replaced and I've tried to tell you over and over and over for the past several years I've been telling you that you are being replaced and you are assisting them to replace you you talk about reparations but Biden he'll get up there and make false promises they're talking about how you got to sit down and talk about it Got to have a meeting. But yet when it comes to sending your money to Ukraine and opening the borders and putting illegal immigrants, look what's happening to Chicago and around this nation. They're putting these illegal immigrants in black communities. Black communities barely have resources from the government. So now they're competing with the resource, with the small amount of resources that you have, now you have to share that with the illegal immigrants. Look at all the programs that were at one time helping black Americans, after school programs. They're now all gone because that money is funding the illegal immigrants and a lot of other things that the money laundering that's happening within the Biden administration, they're not talking about Biden's crimes or his son's crimes or the crimes by, you know, the FBI or CIA or the media. Criminals are at every level of this government. It's always been, but now it's wide open. It's in the open. And Americans are so docile and their face is planted in social media to the point where you don't even realize that you are being destroyed. And I've said in the past, and I'm going to cut this short, but I've said in the past that once they disarm American citizens, and that's why they're so against Clarence Thomas because of Roe versus Wade and the fact that Clarence Thomas is in defense of your Second Amendment right. Once they're able to get Clarence Thomas out of there and a lot of black Americans are celebrating, calling him Uncle Tom, wanting him out, 
once they get him out of there, then they're able to take away your right to defend yourself while they're still opening the borders, releasing violent criminals, allowing violent criminals to come into this country unvetted and then placing them right in your neighborhoods. And you're struggling, crying out, and then they will stand up and make more empty promises and he will lie and tell you how uh, inflation is down and how more people are getting jobs now and you will believe that because it's Joe Biden or because he's a Democrat and then you would run to the polls and vote those same demons back in office. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. So, but I sit back, I observe, I watch, my stomach cringe. I don't really even watch the news that much anymore because there's so many lies, so many deceptions. Even when it comes to Republicans, all you hear about is this is what's happening and Biden is in trouble, but yet Biden is still being allowed to destroy this nation. And I made a video years ago where they're torching and burning America. This is just the next level of destruction. And if you vote them back in the office and from the ways it looked now, it looks like the election is going to be like the past election. The things that they condemned Trump about when he was when he believed that the election was stolen. There's going to be even a greater amount of that activity going on during the next election. And it's starting to happen now. Colluding and election interference. What do you think this whole, all of these, these charges that's being brought against Trump and Trump supporters this is all a part of election tampering. Trying to change the results of the coming elections. They're working on that right now. They're working on that right now. And trust me, a lot of pockets are being filled because they're going along with that agenda. There's an agenda to destroy this nation. We're headed towards the one world government where they make you think that America's allies are really the enemies when in reality the so-called enemies of America are allies because they're funding their so-called enemies, allowing their enemies to prosper. Just take a look at what's happening. But I'm going to end it right here. It's sad, it's sickening. Be prepared for the next level of suffering here in America, especially if the so-called Democrats get back in the office, or if rhinos, Republicans in name only, are put in office. Because right now, we really don't know who's friend, and we definitely know who's the foe. Because they speak smart, uh, they speak sweet words. And if you're not careful, if you don't have that discernment, to be able to tell between right and wrong, you would get sucked right up into their schemes and don't even realize it. It's just like the Rainbow Crew, where so many Americans supported that, was saying that yes, they should be able to love each other, have the same benefits. And now women, especially black women, are competing with the role of being a woman. But that's another topic. So, 
Feedback. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Click on the Cash App or the Chime link and support this channel. Until next time. I'm fearless.